Dwarf angelfish belong to the Pomecanthidae family and are predominantly represented by the genera Centropike and Paracentropike. These fish are characterized by their compact size, typically ranging from 3 to 6 inches in length, making them suitable for medium-sized reef tanks. They are reef safe with caution, so that means they are not the ideal candidate for your reef tank because they start, can start nipping on your coral. So make sure to do your research prior to adding one to your tank. Within the genus Centropike, there is a remarkable diversity in the coloration and patterns among various species. For instance, the flame angelfish. This species is renowned for its vibrant orange-red body adorned with vertical black bars and blue accents on the edges of its fins. The striking coloration of the flame angelfish makes it a popular choice among marine hobbyists. Another example is the coral beauty angelfish, recognizable by its iridescent purple or blue body with orange or yellow accents. The coral beauty angelfish is prized for its elegance and compatibility with reef environments. The carob angelfish, featuring a predominantly pale blue body with hints of yellow on its face and fins. The carob angelfish executes a delicate charm and is well suited for smaller reef aquariums. Another example is the pygmy angelfish. The pygmy angelfish group encompasses several species with very varying color patterns, including the half black angelfish and the multicolor angelfish. These species exhibit intricate coloration and are among the, one of the smallest dwarf angelfish, ideal for the bit smaller reef setups. In addition to the centropike genus, the paracentropike genus includes species like the yellowhead and angelfish characterized by striking yellow face and blue body. Dwarf angelfish are further distinguished by their behaviors and interactions within the aquarium. While generally peaceful, some species may exhibit territorial tendencies, particularly towards conspecifics or similar looking fish. Therefore, it's essential to carefully select tank mates and monitor their interactions to prevent aggression and ensure a harmonious reef ecosystem. Creating an optimal environment is crucial when setting up a reef tank for dwarf angelfish. These fish thrive in well-maintained uh, aquariums that mimic their natural habitat on coral reefs. Here are some key considerations for designing an ideal setup. The first one is tank size and structure. Dwarf angelfish require sufficient space to swim and explore. A tank size of at least 50 gallons is re recommended for a single dwarf angelfish with additional volume needed for multiple individuals or other tank mates. Ensure the tank has enough length and width to accommodate their active swimming behavior. The second one is live rock and aquascaping. Incorporate live rock structures into the aquarium layout. Live rock provides essential hiding places, shelter and grazing surfaces for algae, which is a staple part of the dwarf angelfish diet. Create caves overhangs and crevices using live rock to offer hiding spots and territorial boundaries for these fish. The third one is water parameters and filtration. Maintain stable water parameters to ensure the health and well-being of dwarf angelfish. Monitor and regulate ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, pH and salinity levels using reliable test kits. Use efficient filtration methods, including a protein skimmer to remove organic waste and maintain water clarity. Aim for consistent water quality to prevent stress-related illnesses. The fourth one is lining and algae growth. Provide appropriate lighting conditions to support coral health and promote natural algae growth. Dwarf angelfish are omnivores and graze on algae as part of the diet. Encourage algae growth on live rock and designated surfaces within the tank, supplementing their nutritional needs and offering a natural feeding behavior. Fifth one, water flow and circulation. Ensure adequate water flow and circulation within the tank to mimic ocean currents and prevent stagnant areas. Use power heads or wave makers strategically to create gentle water movement, benefiting both fish and corals. Avoid strong or turbulent currents that may stress dwarf angelfish. Acclimation and quarantine. Prior to introducing dwarf angelfish to the main display tank, 
perform proper acclimation pr procedures to minimize stress. Quarantine new arrivals in a separate tank to observe for signs of over disease or coral nipping before integrating them into the established reef community. This helps mitigate potential risk and ensures the health of existing tank inhabitants. By implementing these aquarium setup guidelines, you can create a suitable and thriving habitat for dwarf angelfish in a reef tank, providing ample space, natural shelter, appropriate water conditions and compatible tank mates foster a harmonious environment where these captivating fish can flourish and showcase their vibrant colors and behaviors. When keeping dwarf angelfish in a reef tank, it's important to consider the compatibility with corals and other invertebrates. While many dwarf angelfish species are reef safe with caution uh, and can coexist with certain corals and invertebrates, there are specific considerations to keep in mind to prevent potential damage or aggression. Here's what you need to know. First, coral selection. Dwarf angelfish are known to exhibit varying degrees of coral nipping behavior. Some species may occasionally pick at soft corals, zoanthids, mi mushrooms or polyps, causing damage over time. To mitigate this risk, choose hardier coral species that are less likely to be targeted by the fish. Uh, LPS large polyp stony corals such as Anca Ancastrea and Euphelia uh, and certain SPS uh, corals and can often withstand occasional grazing. My second tip is to avoid sensitive corals. It's advisable to avoid placing dwarf angelfish in tanks containing delicate or highly valuable coral specimens such as gorgonians, certain acropora species and other sensitive corals that may, be, that may be susceptible to their grazing behavior. Monitor the fish's interactions with corals closely, especially during feeding times when their natural behavior may be more pronounced. The third invertebrate compatibility. In addition uh, to corals, consider the compatibility with other reef invertebrates. Dwarf angelfish generally coexist well with most common reef inhabit inhabitants such as snails, hermit crabs and shrimp, and small non-aggressive starfish species. Avoid housing them with predatory or aggressive invertebrates that may harass or compete with the angelfish. Monitoring and behavioral observation. Regularly observe the dwarf angels fish's behavior towards corals and invertebrates. Signs of excessive uh, picking, biting or aggression towards specific spe species may necessitate adjustments to the tank layout or coral selection. Provide alter alternative grazing options such as algae sheets or designated feeding stations to divert their attention from sensitive coral specimens. Tank arrangement and spatial considerations. Arrange the tank layout strategically to create natural boundaries and ter territorial divisions. Utilize live rock formations and aquascaping techniques to separate coral colonies and provide refuge areas for both fish and invertebrates. This helps minimize potential conflicts and ensures a harmonious cohabitation within the reef ecosystem. Feeding and dietary enrichment. A well-balanced diet supplemented with algae-based foods can help satisfy the natural grazing instincts of dwarf angelfish. Providing ample algae growth on live rock and designated surfaces encourages their natural foraging behavior, reducing the likelihood of excessive coral browsing. Supplement their diet with high-quality marine flake, pellets and frozen foods to meet their nutritional requirements. In summary, Dwarf angelfish are a fantastic addition to a reef tank, bringing vibrant colors and personality. Remember, they are reef safe with caution. Provide them with a su suitable environment, monitor water quality and offer a varied diet for their optimal health. So, we are already on the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to help me on the road to 1k subscribers, hit the subscribe button and I see you in the next episode. Ciao!